see if Dr. Moppenglow is still here. What do you mean, Dr. Moppenglow? Who? Don't worry, he's a real doctor. Dermatologist. Excuse me. What's the matter? <laughs> he's a professional. <laughs> what, your fucking back still bothering you? Yeah! FBI, FBI, nobody move! Hey! You believe this shit? How can pussy run with his back problems? Do you know what this is? It's a fucking gun! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck would pussy run? I mean, the guy's out of breath lifting his dick out to take a leak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, push! Hey, fuckface, where you going? When are you gonna talk to me like this? You know, I do a lot of risky shit for you. <laughs> I think you shouldn't complain after what you did with Melfi's ex-boyfriend. Pumpin' Sarrow. Pussy? What about him? He's wired for sound. What? I got it from a good source. I thought you should know. I want to see the report. I can't get my hand. I want to see the fucking 302! Well, now we know why he's called Pussy. Because he is one. <laughs> why did he walk so easy from that thing the other day? Guy I was wondering about that too, actually. Away from a thing like that with low ball bail. I mean, he was even running. <laughs> Noah. Okay, that's fine. Look at him back there, stuffing his face. His big red face. My son pussy to the doctor. The guy gives him the works. MRIs, CAT scans, adult scans, you name it. And he says there's not a fucking thing wrong with his back. Mm -hmm. He's just using it as an excuse to not do anything? What kind of mental stuff would cause a backache? For conversation's sake? Absolutely. <laughs> the secret is a heavy load. It leads to feelings of guilt which further burden the mind. He can't deal with himself turning red. Ah. Oh. Let's put him out of his misery. I'm not gonna hurt a man that I love because of some cop gossip from a degenerate fucking gambler with a badge. You're a pisser. You're a real pisser. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm under a little bit of pressure here. I don't have time to suck your dick. Apology accepted. Fuck you. <laughs> no hello? <laughs> What's up? Uh, it's a uh, regot pie. I saved it from the open house. I can't eat that. It's got cholesterol. I made it with the low-fat cheese. Yeah. What ever. <laughs> I want you to cut the drama. It's killing Tony. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. This poor mother, nobody loves me, victim crap. It is textbook manipulation. And I hate seeing Tony so upset over it. I know how to talk to people. <clears throat> if you don't want it, you can give it to Junior, because I know he stops by a lot. He's my husband's brother. He can't check up on me once in a while. I know what you're hinting at. There is nothing wrong with companionship. <laughs> he was a saint. When Johnny was alive, nobody treated me like this. Who is treating you bad? Tony would rather die than see you hurt. Johnny was a saint. Yes, we have heard. <laughs> well, at least with Junior, somebody listens to me and doesn't treat me like an old shoe. Don't worry about the dish. I'll come back tomorrow and get it. <laughs> Maybe if she would stop being a bitch all the time, people would start listening to her. So your father tells me you're taking up uh, astronomy in college. Oh, business. Well, how come he keeps saying you're taking up space in school? <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a wire. Who? Pussy. Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> huh, pussy? <laughs> Maybe this is a misunderstanding. Wasn't there some confusion in the first episode? Big pussy, not to be confused with little pussy or something like that? <laughs> I want you to see that fucking wire strapped on his body. I want you to see it. You hear me? Otherwise, all bets are off. You say it. 
You understand? I understand. Let's hope he does, hmm? Hmm? You know where she is? She's not in her room. I wanted to tell her her house went into escrow. She's with the other girls getting aqua therapy. My mother? Hmm, <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> I don't even know she's on a bathing suit. She doesn't. So let's go see her. <laughs> nice horn. <laughs> Come on, your heart on before we get a ticket. How is he planning to do this? You can't just walk up to him and search him. Maybe he's just not wearing it today. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, get undressed. It's on me. Why do you think those Russian leaders live so long? <laughs> they take a schwitz every day. I can't. Paulie's a smart one, apparently. <laughs> the doctor said heat's no good for me. I gotta avoid it. That's why I sit in the shade. What the fuck are you talking about? Heat is good for your back. Take your clothes off. Don't make me do it. Take your clothes off. You're fucking crazy. Why don't you want to take your clothes off? I got high blood pressure, you fucking idiot. My doctor mentioned steam and sauna, specifically as no-nos. He said, stay the fuck away from heat. Thanks for the thought. But get out of my fucking face. That could be true. Hmm. Now what? Aqua therapy, how about that? Huh? Dad? I would think a whole like a huh? pain. Come on, take it easy. Benny, stop it. Come on, on, let's here. get this show on a roll. Doctor, madam, wise guy and a cop. <laughs> that doctor was here again in his costume. <laughs> Most civilized countries have legalized prostitution. Don't you go somewhere to be? I mean, it's a joke. Look what they're putting the president through. Yeah, he deserved what he got. He got Monica Kaczynski in the board with the long nose. <laughs> I don't think sex should be a punishable offense either. But I do think that talking about sex at the breakfast table is a punishable offense. It's the 90s. Parents are supposed to discuss sex with their children. I don't want to hear any more sex talk, okay? It's with him. He has pussy problems. So obviously he doesn't want to hear about sex. Uh, is he going to jump? Mr. McAllister. He was not happy with himself, how he turned out. What did he come here for? Therapy? Instead of a couch, you use a bed? It's not a bad deal. Hey, who wouldn't want to sleep with their shrink? <laughs> Anthony, he sold my house, the home my husband and I made. What else were they going to do with it? You two. <laughs> you backstabbing piece of shit. Do you and my capos have their mothers in this place? Instead of living in normal homes with their sons, like human beings. This must be some kind of fucking end move. <laughs> If this is true, Livia, you know what I... I mean... I'm the boss, for Christ's sake. If, if, if I don't act, blood or no... What does he think is going on? I mean, they're just using this facility to hide their stuff, right? So what's wrong with that? They were asking me a lot of questions in there, you know? If I knew anything about the dead Columbia and the apartment and all that. You look good. Thanks, I wasn't gone that long. <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do about the Colombian money? They were putting the screws to me like I was a school kid. It's Jimmy. It's fucking Jimmy! What? Mm. The wire, it's fucking Jimmy! That's what I thought when you asked about the money. <laughs> you answer me like I'm Jesus Christ himself, and if you fucking lie to me, may your mother die of cancer of the eyes. Where's pussy? I don't know. Don't you fucking lie to me. Tony. 
you do it? Tony. Shh. Don't fucking lie to me. Why would he lie to you? Dude. Did you fucking do it? I said no! Now get your fucking hands off. Come on, Tony. There's absolutely no reason why he should lie. I can't find pussy anywhere. I haven't seen him since the Schwitz. The last thing he said to me was, go fuck yourself. Did he at least take the Schwitz? He refused to take his clothes off. Plot twist. It's both of them. Pussy and Jimmy. <laughs> he said we should look out of town for who's gonna do it. Finally. Yeah. God, uncle is stupid. <laughs> Whatever it is, Mikey, we're going to Vegas next month. I doubt it. If he tries to go after Tony, he's dead. Hope it means more money, because I need a new car. Trust me. If this goes down, you're going to have a new car and then some. Can you tell me? Oh, come on, Mikey. Tell me. Tell me. Come on, Mikey. Tell me. Oh. Tony Soprano's on his way out, and I mean as in forever. Oh, my God. Oh, my He's God. He's going to jail? Well, the other forever. Oh, my God. He was planning on making a move against Junior. His own uncle? <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Why would they think he's planning anything? Just because of that retirement home? <laughs> Why would they act on that, even if they had a suspicion? 